I'll tell you an old-fashioned story that grandfather used to relate of a joiner and building contractor. His name, it was Sam Oglethwaite. In a shop on the banks of the Irwell, old Sam used to follow his trade in a place you'll have heard of called Berry. You know, where black puddings is made. One day, Sam were filling a knot hole with putty when in through the door came an old fella fur wreathy whiskers. The old chap said, good morning, I'm Noah. Sam asked Noah what was his business, and the old chap went on to remark that not liking the look of the weather, he was thinking of building an ark. He'd gotten the wood for the bulwarks and all to the shipbuilding junk, and wanted some nice bird's eye maple to panel the sides of his bunk. Now, maple was Sam's monopoly. That means it were all his to cut and nobody else hadn't got none. So he asked Noah three apens a foot. I ate me too much, replied Noah. Penny a foot's more the mark. A penny a foot, and when rain comes, I'll give you a ride in me ark. But neither would budge in the bargain. The old dark thing were kind of a jam. So Sam put his tongue out at Noah, and Noah made long bacon at Sam. In wrath and ill feeling they parted, not knowing when they'd meet again. And Sam had forgot all about it, till one day it started to rain. It rained and it rained for a fortnight, and flooded the old countryside. It rained and it still kept on raining, till Thurwell were fifty miles wide. The houses were soon under water, and folks to the roof had to climb. They said it was a rottenish summer that Berry had had for some time. The rain showed no sign of abating, and water rose hour by hour, till the only dry land were at Blackpool, and that were on top of the tower. So Sam started swimming to Blackpool. It took him best part of a week. His clothes was wet through when he got there, and his boots were beginning to leak. He stood to his watch chain at water on tower top just before dark, when who should come sailing towards him but old Noah steering his ark. They stared at each other in silence till ark were alongside all but. Then Noah said, What price on maple? Sam answered, Three apens a foot. Noah said, Nay, I'll make thee an offer, same as I did to the day. A penny a foot and a free ride. Now, come on, lad. What does that say? Three apens a foot came the answer. So Noah his sail had to hoist and sail off again in a dudgeon while Sam stood determined but moist. Noah cruised around flying his pigeons till fortieth day of the wet. And on his way back, passing Blackpool, he saw old Sam standing there yet. His chin just stuck out of the water, a comical figure he cut. Noah said, now what's the price of your maple? Sam answered, three aprons a foot. Said, Noah, you'd best take me off her. It's last time I'll be here about. And if water comes up an inch higher, <laughs> I'll up and get maple for now. Three aprons a foot it'll cost you. And as for me, Sam says, don't fret. The sky's took a turn since this morning. I think it'll brighten up yet.